uh, uh, whatever do you want? <coughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Pay the money, you'll make this stop. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Ah! Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not run... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm How's that dead looking now? You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <laughs> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Hello, Dutch.
much for Go ahead and call your mama for all I care. Take it easy, I got my bagel. <laughs> Should have thought about that earlier. You're pathetic, old man. You know, he ain't a bad fella, oh. all things considering. That man's head's going soft in his old age. You better watch out for him. Thanks for your assistance. Good evening. Evening. How's it going? This is one of them days. You look like a person bad luck would follow around. I've heard worse from better men. You trying to make me uncomfortable? Fine by me. Let's just walk away. All right, girl. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me? Is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me.
Pretty mouth, or I'll shut it for you. Please help me out of here. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. Girl. Nice folks around here. Rediscovery of theology. 
<laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? You're searching for whoever stole your common sense, you nutcase! Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy! Now move out of my way, you goddamn lunatic! Am I getting through to you Wait now? Oh. That's enough, Arthur! A kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! Stop and let's talk about this! This is none of your damn business! Sorry! They're just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Come on, Jamie! Your sister's worried about you! This is none of your damn business! Yeah. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. I don't have to answer to you. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one! Yeah. I was doing just fine by myself! <laughs> oh, 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 you little jackass. Sorry, mister. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Hey, what is this? Yeah. Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone.
Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. about seeing her, aren't you? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that.
feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Well, I use this space as a blacksmith, too, so let me know if you need me to grab something for you from the catalog. Why don't we enhance your gun? See how much more it can do. It just ain't no end to fine-tuning your gun, you know? You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? Yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Thanks, mister. willing to stack up.
Thanks. Partner? I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. Uh, what? Well, I'm back home now. So everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Do you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little walk. Great. I love you bastards. <laughs> Mr. McGuire. Have fun. Have Come lots on. of fun. <laughs> Can we drink now, please? Suddenly you seem much better, Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. Just when the drinks come out. Still Mr. Williams. Great pleasure sitting by the fire with friends. No matter what else happens, nothing right there. quite beats sitting by the fire. You can have the hounds of hell after you and all the angels of vengeance oh, along what now? Them, Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I guess. Oh, Listen, my friend. Fun. <laughs> Do you know the Louisville I maid? I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Oh, yeah, I am enjoying it. Well, I just don't need to fall over <laughs> drunk <laughs> yeah, with the <laughs> It was diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark well what I do say. She says just bring your brother low for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my finger on her knee. Well what I do say. She says just bring your brother low for the diddle 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 all the day. How he puts the music on. Classic Sean McGuire speech. Yes, he's definitely back. We needed a reason to celebrate. She 
Yes, you're getting pretty out of my diddle, diddle, diddle all day. about something a little more still. And, and, and it something I will never That's forget. good to be back. I even missed you. <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. <laughs> Me and you. Never need one of those, Uncle. I didn't think we were going to see you again. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. Uh, uh, excuse me, Mary Beth. Well, well, well. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you think of me? <laughs> Sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's <laughs> about all I can muster. Yeah.
You busy, Arthur? Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. I gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Another busy day. Evening, Mr. Morgan.
That horse don't listen. What you coming up on me at night for? 
Reckon that's done then. <sighs> Just shut up. You don't know me. Careful. Hey, hold up. Now, nah, you can go to Stop. I ain't playing here. Again. <sighs> Never comes when the need. you're doing hey can I speak to you a second you're done Let's go.
Did you see that woman Mary Gillis about? Yes. Yes, I did. I never liked her. I know. You already told me that. Ideas above her station. Above anyone's station, that one. You know, Arthur, it's the illness of romantics. What is? Hope. Hope is. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. I know supplies are low. Thank you. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. Before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people... Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Yep. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Throw that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Hey, 
Hey there, girl. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. <laughs> Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. You done good, girl. Ha! Them clothes. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. That's my girl. those bison what's your problem i said did you fools shoot those bison mm, calm down you black or red bastard whatever the fuck you are did you shoot them yes we did we shot them bison we'll shoot you too if you don't get what business is it of yours what we <laughs> oh, it's that business of mine good god you're crazy i got a family a family don't shoot me Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God uh, damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Please, don't. Kill me. I'm begging you. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. 
I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Sir, transporting a fugitive. Let me out of here! I got a wife and kids! Shut up! Keep still! I never robbed a thing in all my life! You showed up when you did. I don't have no money to give you, but I do have some information that might interest a man like yourself. There's this odd lady that collects things. Has a place uh, north of Strawberry. All kinds of goodies, I hear. <laughs> might be something there for you. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks again. Safe That's travels. Yeah, you too. Lay low.
done good, girl. Hello, Jelly. Good, man. Mr. Morgan. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. All right, I'll see what I can do. I'll keep my eye out for some good material. Enough for me. Hello, Hosea. Okay, Hosea? Hey, you okay, Miss Karen? Dandy, how are you? Well, they haven't killed me yet. Uh, Who ain't? The boys around here. They act tough. They're good boys, mostly. It's the most thing I'm scared of. Huh? Don't be. You'll be fine. You're one of us now. All right, then. <laughs> I will see you later. Hi there. How are things? I'm busy. Good, good. Good. Listen to me. Listen. I know. We lost people. And I miss them. And I would throw myself in the ground in their place a hundred times over if I could. The things, they don't work like that. Listen. We need to keep pushing. It ain't time yet to let things wither and die. All those, all those dreams we had, <laughs> it ain't time. Because that's all we got. That's all that anybody has got. Dreams. Ideas. It is that or be a monkey. And right now I am picking us for angels, not monkeys. So you stay with me. You stay with us, because things are going to get tough, but we are going to get where we want to go. Listen, and listen good. It ain't the time for doubting. Mm. 